Our vision for Cape Town is a city of hope for all. We want the mother city to be living proof that a better life is possible, especially for the most vulnerable. We want to create conditions that enable us to be a prosperous, inclusive and healthy city without oppressive poverty and crime. We need to be a capable and accountable local government built on good governance that delivers on the basics and enables a thriving economy. This in turn will encourage investment and bring jobs. Our Integrated Development Plan, or IDP as we call it, aims to do just this. So what is the IDP? It's a clear set of priorities and associated projects and programs that guide and inform all planning, development and decisions in the municipality. The IDP communicates to residents, businesses and investors the city's long-term vision and how it plans to achieve it. It is also the basis upon which the public can keep government accountable. The IDP comprises two parts. One, a strategic plan which contains the longer-term vision, priorities and foundations. And two, an implementation plan which focuses on key objectives, projects and initiatives that will support these. Each of the priorities will be realized through implementing 16 objectives, which focus only on key strategic programs, projects and initiatives. Let's unpack the priorities. To be a city of hope, the most important priority is economic growth. Let's make Cape Town the easiest place to do business and create jobs in Africa. This is followed by safety. Let's make Cape Town communities safer by investing in policing capacity and technology and strengthening partnerships. Our third priority is basic services. Let's get the basics right as the foundation of a healthy and prosperous city. Next, we focus on housing. Let's empower the private sector to increase the supply of affordable housing across the formal and informal markets. This is accompanied by public space, environment and amenities. Let's restore the people's pride in Cape Town by cleaning up our city's public spaces, streets and waterways. And lastly, transport. Let's improve urban mobility through safe, reliable and affordable public transport and well-maintained roads. These priorities rest on solid foundations for moving forward. A resilient city, a more spatially integrated and inclusive city, and lastly, a capable and collaborative city government, all of which are essential to realize a city of hope. In order to achieve this, we have 16 objectives that are met through various programs and projects. Objective 1 is increase jobs and investment in the Cape Town economy. Various programs have been designed to help start and grow businesses and support the private sector to attract more jobs and investment. These will also support the informal sector and work readiness opportunities as well as manage key precincts for economic development. Land planning and release will support economic growth and more affordable housing. Objective 2 is improved access to quality and reliable basic services. We will mainstream basic service delivery to informal settlements providing reliable water supply, quality sanitation and refuse collection which are essential for a life of hope and dignity. Objective 3. End load shedding in Cape Town over time. The city will invest in diversifying supply away from coal-intensive ESCOM towards independent power producers, IPPs and renewables and enabling small-scale embedded generation. Reducing the impact of load shedding is the most important way that the city can enable economic growth. Objective 4 well-managed and modernized infrastructure to support economic growth. Improved infrastructure planning and delivery will enable better living conditions. For instance, water and sanitation services, reliable and sustainable waste management and energy services supported by well-maintained grid infrastructure will ensure Cape Town is sustainable and future fit. Objective 5. 
Effective law enforcement to make communities safer by reducing crime through increased law enforcement capacity. Objective 6. Strengthen partnerships for safer communities. We will meaningfully enhance policing capacity by partnering with and supporting local community policing initiatives such as neighborhood watches. Objective 7. Accelerate the provision of security of tenure in response to the lack of adequate housing, which is an urgent concern. The city must do everything it can to support the private sector with the accelerated building of homes, both formal and informal, and fast-track the provision of tenure security. Equally important is Objective 8. Safer, better quality homes in informal settlements and backyards over time. We will support micro-developers to build better quality homes and deliver subsidized housing. We will improve maintenance and tenant management in public rental housing and improve living conditions in informal settlements. With objectives 9, 10 and 11, the city aims to improve and maintain a healthy and sustainable environment with clean and healthy waterways and beaches and quality safe parks and public spaces supported by community partnerships to make our city healthier, more livable, more attractive and more resilient. The efficient movement of people and goods around our city will be achieved by Objective 12, a sustainable transport system that is integrated, efficient and provides safe and affordable travel options for all. This will include improving the safety, convenience, reliability and quality of public transport and expanding the rapid transport system to the southeast, which will enable residents to easily access jobs and services. It will make it cheaper and faster to move around the city. This will be enhanced by restoring passenger rail services as well as reducing traffic congestion. Objective 13 safe and quality roads for pedestrians, cyclists and vehicles will be achieved by maintaining a quality and safe road network for the benefit of all users. Objective 14 is a resilient city. The city will proactively adapt basic services infrastructure in response to climate change and will reduce Cape Town's carbon footprint by pursuing energy security and better public transport services. The city will continue to build excellent disaster risk management capabilities and proactively seek to build resilience to prevailing threats at community level. To this end, lessons will be drawn from the 2015 to 2017 drought, the COVID-19 pandemic, large-scale fires and floods, and other disaster events over the past five years. Objective 15 is a more spatially integrated and inclusive city we will address the injustice of apartheid spatial planning. In performing its role of providing public infrastructure and regulating the built environment, the city will ensure that urban growth contributes to a more inclusive, integrated and vibrant city. The city is committed to removing and reducing barriers to inclusion and well-being. This is achieved through the provision of adequate public services and assets being an enabler for the poor and vulnerable in society to be uplifted and assisted. And last but not least, Objective 16, a capable and collaborative city government, which is modernized, financially healthy, administratively efficient and future focused. A city government that empowers residents to contribute to decision making and is a competent and reliable partner to other government entities residents and businesses in addressing persistent urban challenges. The implementation of the IDP will profoundly and practically contribute to achieving our vision of being a city of hope and uplifting all our residents. We look forward to the IDP's tangible progress on our most pressing issue, poverty. Let's work together to ensure our city of hope becomes a reality by 2027 and that Cape Town is living proof that a better life is possible for all. If you'd like to find out more about the IDP, please visit www.capetown.gov.za forward slash IDP.